Hello 8th graders, in this video we're going to take a look at IXL assignment I6. I6 is the one on identify proportional relationships from graphs and equations. So our big job now that we've been practicing proportional relationships is IXL thinks we should be able to spot from a graph or an equation pretty much right away. Does this show me the kind of relationship that's proportional or maybe something that's more complicated or a bit different? The first problem here in our example is asking us about graphs. You see here, two graphs that are given to us. So my job, I need to remember or understand that to have a proportional relationship, the only way y over x stays at the same ratio is if the graph is a straight line that also starts at the origin. That way y and x can kind of start together at the same time and always hold the same ratio to each other as they move constantly together. And here I see for select the graphs, I see this one right here, the origin is 0, 0. This line doesn't pass through it. If I follow it, this line actually starts out with a negative value. When x was 0, y is somewhere in the negatives instead of being at the origin, so there's no way that one's going to be proportional. But this other graph here, straight line, starts at the origin, so it's got the qualities we want. This is our only proportional graph out of the two here. Now there's another example on our screen. You could be pausing the video or thinking to yourself right now, which of these graphs meet our definition of having a straight line that starts at the origin and therefore y to x would always hold the same ratio. And here I see this is a situation, they might be trying to trick you a little bit. Both of these are correct, so I'm gonna check off both boxes and you see they both have a blue mark around them and the check box is filled out showing, hey, I selected both. Okay, for the next examples that we're going to see, this assignment is suggested to you. Sometimes they'll give you graphs, other times they give you equations. And what we want to remember, what we should have been starting to see with the equations is proportional relationships are simple. All that happens is x multiplies with some ratio that stays constant, our k, and we figure out our y based on that. You can't have any other additional numbers added, subtracted with the situation. Otherwise, that means you, you don't start out at the origin. And here I see the first equation, y equals 8x, follows this y equals kx formula. When I make x 0, 0 times 8 will be 0. So if I make x 0 here, y will have to be 0. But for this other equation, it's not going to start at the origin. If I make x into 0, we'll go ahead and use our tool here a little bit. Let's mark, a, if x is 0, that whole 2x thing is going to be gone. So if I turned x into 0 for this equation, y is going to not equal 0. It's going to start out down at negative 4. So this one does not start at the origin. This one is not a correct answer. The only one we're going with up here is y equals 8x. But again, it ends up boiling down to the only way it can be proportional, start at the origin and hold the same steady pattern between y and x, is if I have a simple y equals k times x equation. Here, both of these fit that, y equals 7x, y equals 10x. They both have a constant ratio. y will always be 10 times bigger than the x. So both of these are correct. We're going to skip ahead to see if there's anything more challenging in here. So it jumps us into the challenge zone. And it does look like this is a bit of a boring assignment. Even in the challenge zone, they're just asking us which graphs are proportional. I'm picking the straight lines that are going to the origin. Oh, this is where it got trickier. All right, I like IXL sometimes. A couple things to catch here. Um, y equals kx means the co or the constant doesn't have to be a whole number. It could be a fraction. So y equals 9 over 4, which is the same thing as 2.25. We'll go ahead and mark the screen up a little bit. 9 over 4 is the same thing as 2.25. So Mr. Doherty, you can just type that better. y equals 2.25x. And that is going to be a straight line that y goes up 2.25 every time we get one more x. This one's a bit trickier. Whenever you have an exponent other than 1, if you have x raised to the second power, x raised to the third power, it's going to make a curvy exponential graph. This will start at the origin here, but it's going to be what we call a parabola. We get to that at the end of the year. But any x squared graph, we're going to talk about why it can't actually be proportional. That is a good tricky question there. Um, and they throw another couple curveballs here at you. Here, hopefully we remember y equals x is really the same thing. 
as y equals 1x. Hopefully Mr. Neville talked with us last year about how we don't write 1 times x. If our coefficient is 1, we just keep it simple and say x. And in this case, both of these, the one with a fraction for k and the one where k or our constant ratio is just 1 over 1, both of these are going to be correct answers. So we'll select both. And I don't think we're going to keep going. Because, for example, here you'll say this is a straight line, but Mr. Doherty, it doesn't start at the origin, so this one is not proportional. But this one, which does start at the origin and go in a straight line, would be correct. But you got what you need. Keep doing great work. Thanks for watching Towards the Challenge Zone if you stuck with us.